As you rise above it, you start to see that this world, which is in flux, is not real. Is not real. Because you're start starting to recognize what is real. And that's where your consciousness starts to rise, expands to a higher dimension. That higher dimension is not this one, my dear. So, I'm going to give you a couple examples. Let me see how much time we got. Yeah, we're. We have half an hour. In 1992 or three, I was, I went to the, see, Papaji Punjaji, my Sat Guru, and towards the end of this journey, after six months or whatever, I was in India. I headed up to Nepal. I went to Kathmandu, I wanted to go and I wanted to do some hiking and tracking that everyone was talking about in uh, around Himalaya. And I went to Kathmandu, I was there for two, three days. So I'm wandering around and shopping, doing this and, and I'm a backpacker, I'm a hippie boy uh, with my backpack, I'm on this self awakening self-inquiry journey and now I'm really enjoying uh, tracking and backpacking and one day I want to go from one area of Kathmandu to another area and I thought you know what it's going to take too long to get to this part so why don't I cut through the city and get get to that area so I'm just wandering around I'm walking through and what, what happened was, as I'm doing this, is I walking through this really tight, narrow street, and as I'm walking through it, all of a sudden, I encountered this big mob, and or maybe the mob is not the good word, but there were these students, and they had these red flags, I think. Um, big demonstration they were angry they had clubs in their hands they had rocks in the other hands and uh, there were so all of a sudden I turn into this narrow alley in the middle of this uh, uh, residential area and there were these nice tight little streets and I turn around and all of a sudden this angry big group of mob is coming so and I turn around to go back and all of a sudden is another uh, group of the uh, b uh, police all armed and they're wearing their um, anti um, demonstration clothes and everything with their bats in their hands and everything else. So all of a sudden I find myself in between these two groups that are about to clash with one another. And I'm in the middle of it. And of course your nervous system, you, you freak out because you know you're going to get killed right now. These two angry, these two groups are about to clash with each other and they mean business. They're, they're not friendly. So all of a sudden, intuitively, what I did was I went and sat down against the wall on a corner and sat in a lotus position and I just sat in meditation. Closed my eyes, sat down like a good boy, went into meditation, my attention went to the third eye, I went inwards and I connected to the self, which is very still. I went into stillness. And I just stayed there. And I heard that the two groups started to clash with each other. I'm hearing yelling, screaming, all kinds of different things and beating and everything. And of course, the police 
started to push the mob backwards and the eventually the whole commotion moved on and after I don't know how long it took five minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes I don't remember because in those moments you know it's timeless you just go into this place because in some ways you know your life is over you're gonna get killed someone's gonna beat something someone's gonna hit you in your head with a with a bat or or a club or uh, a knife or rock or whatever and you're gonna die so I'm just in this place absolute silence and very still not reacting to anything is happening I'm just like in total stillness and the entire demonstration moved as if they never saw me as if I didn't even exist or they didn't care or whatever I was in silence I was no threat to anyone nobody bothered it was grace of God whatever I had no choice there was nothing I could do but one thing I could do is just to go back into the truth of who I am and the whole thing moved away as it moved away and they were away five t uh, 10 15 meter and you know I opened my eyes I saw that now the pathway is open I got up and I started to walk away and I saved my life what I mean about stillness is that's one example I'm going to give you another example I went to visit a friend of mine yesterday because this area there was a big demonstration there was like helicopters all over flying for two three days and uh, noises sirens fire trucks police police vehicles and constant sir sirens so in the midst of this craziness and everything is happening I had my morning work appointments I finish up and it's just crazy and it's like okay I need to get out of this area this is like too much too intense too much noise it's been going on for three four days nonstop and I don't care what's going on I need to just get out so I use the back ways I know my area to get out and finally I find my way to the freeway and I go start driving on PCH on the ocean towards uh, uh, P uh, Pacific Coast Highway for those of you who have never lived in LA as you uh, drive uh, on this coastal uh, highway which is beautiful facing uh, parallel to the ocean so I'm just driving for a while go for a long drive and my nervous system starts to quiet down and relax I contact a friend of mine I say hey what are you doing you know I it's been crazy I just want to get away and I want to why if you're around I'll come and see you so I go see my friend we're very good friends and uh, we're just hanging out outside in the patio and I can see like he's very aggressive you know I, any question I ask him uh, he's answering me with aggression and anger and I'm just wondering what is going on and uh, and I tell him are you okay 